Hey, Cash or Derek here, Big Six Clan. Today we are going to be doing the painting for the Star Wars inspired gadget cache for the challenge on Gadget Talk. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. All right, so now I've already done the prep work for this paint job. So I've already got the birdhouse kind of put together and I've also got it base painted out black. And then also have the panel here as well where I've already got the buttons off and I've got some of the tape on here already as I was trying to do, get some lines to how I'm gonna do the lines on the, the panel itself where the lights are gonna go. Now I'm gonna be doing an iconic Star Wars scene airbrushing back here on the back. And this is gonna be really stretching me because this is gonna be really kind of cool if it works. If it doesn't, well, it's gonna have some really cool buttons in there and there's just gonna be some blobs back there. So you're gonna to have to stay tuned and see how it comes together. I do have some little tricks that may work um, that I've seen on YouTube of some other videos, how we can do this airbrushing. So hopefully it will come together and look really cool. But the first thing I need to do is that I need to go ahead and start adding some color back into this cache for the, um, be able to do this in layers. And that's how I'm gonna be doing my painting. It's gonna do different layers as it builds up. And that's what you need to do. So first things first, let's go ahead and add some color back into this cache. All right, so now I've got the kind of a bluish white kind of feel into it, kind of a smoky feel into this on top of the black. And so the next step that I need to do is actually go back to using black again. And I'm gonna take the panel where the buttons are, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint the lines and kind of get that ready to go into here so I can get the tape back off so I can figure out the exact placement for where the scene is gonna go back here on the back wall. And that is our next step. So next is gonna go ahead and be doing the panel and doing that. now. Here, put in the comments, what do you think the scene's gonna be? Just by what's here, I would love to see what your comments are there. Also, I know, if you airbrush and you're an artist, I probably, my technique is absolutely horrible, and I know that, um, and I'm working on that. So, I'm just trying to, hey, I wanna show that just about anybody can airbrush, and, and me included, because this is, this is kinda out of my wheelhouse a little bit, but I'm trying to stretch myself to make, make this look really cool. So, let's go ahead and get the black done. All right, so I've got that panel with the lines on it and I've kind of went in and did a little bit of weathering as well. I uh, just kind of make it look not as clean and crisp because of, it just looks better when it actually looks a little dirty, believe it or not. So I've got that in here now and this just kind of, kind of gives me the area where I can find out where exactly the scene's gonna go, which is gonna be up here. So I'm gonna pull this back out here shortly and be able to start airbrushing the scene up here and I'm gonna kind of do this as templates. So I gotta go through and do different layers of my templates as I lay it in here to do this. So you'll kind of start seeing maybe what it is as I go through and start airbrushing it. But still, I'd like to see what your guesses are, so put those comments down below and let me know. All right, now let's get to painting the scene. All right, so now the airbrushing is done. This is done. The airbrushing is in here is done. 
can kind of see a little bit of what it is. I'm actually really proud of how that came out. That was, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but I think it came out really, really great. Now what I need to do is go ahead and go put the buttons back into this and then put it inside of the container. All right, so here it is with the panel in and it's lit up and with the scene. And I just think that looks really, really cool. I think this would be really fun to find and then you get to solve the puzzle. Um, and I haven't completely worked out the puzzle yet, but I'm still working on it. Um, there'll be icons on the buttons itself that you'll have to figure out what to do. I think this turned out really good. Uh, let me know down in the comments, what did you think? Did you this the scene that you thought it was gonna be? Of course, now that it's over, you're going, yeah, that's the scene, I knew that's what it was. Hey, thanks for joining me today and I hope you've enjoyed this. And this is for the Gadget Talk May the 4th Be With You episode that we're doing on May, May the 3rd. And if you missed that episode, I got a card for it up here um, above me so that you can go check that out when we do the reveal. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below, but don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.